Deconstructed Champions. It's your host, Ron Newsbaum, and we're here for another amazing episode of Construction Champions Podcast, where we're burning the damn house down and rebuilding it twice a week, every Monday, every Thursday. You get to spend some time with some amazing guests that we bring on here today. You're going to get the opportunity to spend some time just with me because I had something I wanted to talk about here today as we head into the trade show season, the conference season. I I wanted to talk about that because I think we overlook this as an opportunity, not just for networking, but for as growth in the construction industry. Like what, what are you doing that continues to move that ball? We talk about it on here all the time is like, you have to be doing stuff that takes you out of your comfort zone that pushes you to the next level. But what all those things that you're doing in your construction business today, that is going to pay dividends. So why I wanted to talk about trade shows and conferences and events today is because that's the places where you get introduced to this stuff. I've been to a lot of conferences in my day and you know, Every time you pour something away, no matter what, it could be something small, it could be something huge, but you learn something that has a a transformation point on your business. So as we're heading into that season and guys are going to start going, uh, I want to ask, are you going? Like, are you going to go to any conferences or trade shows? Now, what I hear a lot, oh, they're so far away. They cost so much money. I got to do this. I got to do that. And it's a bunch of bullshit excuses is what it is. Now, conferences not only get you in a room full of like-minded people, which we talk about on here all the time, it's being in that room with like-minded people. So you want to grow your construction business. Who should you be hanging out with? People that want to grow their construction business. Like, let's just put two and two together here. This is why I wanted to do this. Why I just came on here today and talked about it. So you get in the same room with like-minded people by going to these events. They can become very industry and niche specific. So... Here in a few weeks, we have the biggest re- the biggest show that are happening all year. The IBS show is going to be happening. I'll be there. Uh, but like that's a huge show. They're saying that 50, 60, 70,000 people are going to be there. Contractors and builders of all different levels. It's international. It's going to be a huge event. But you, you don't have to necessarily go to the, the huge event. Say you're a roofer. There's a lot of roofing shows. Say you're a cider. Any any niche that you are in, or renovations, or remodelers, or say you do bass, you can find shows and conferences that are tailored directly to what you do. So not only are you getting in the room with people that want to grow their business, just like you, you're also getting in the room with people that are doing the same thing you're doing somewhere else in the country you see how powerful that could be I mean, what if you made a lifelong connection or friend there that you guys then went on to do weekly calls with each other and just bullshit and figure out exactly what what's working what's not and you guys are in the same niche the same area like This is what's so powerful about the networking at these events, especially when you start getting into the niched down aspects of it. And you go to stuff that's very specific to what you do. The second thing about conferences, trade shows, and events is the training. So they bring in some of the best minds in the industry And they put them on stage and they teach classes. They teach tracks. They have breakout sessions. All part of it. And then a lot of times there's a lot of Q&A. People are reachable. So think about being able to go get in front of some of the leaders 
in the industry, in your space, and get around them. Have the opportunity to pick their brain. It's pretty amazing. Or just what about the training and the tracks? To be able to go there, sit down, spend a couple hours learning from people that have built what you want to build. This is what happens at conferences and trade shows. I mean, it's not just one big party. I think that's something that we do have to address is that a lot of people go to these conferences and then they just party the entire time. They're just out drinking, having a good time. It's just, it, it's a fun vacation right off trip. But you could be learning how to double, triple, 10x your business and then go on a real vacation that has a real good time attached to it not just some trip that you're writing off because it's a conference so think about that and go to the event go to the breakout session don't write them off don't just go there and mingle around go actually take your notepad and go to these breakouts these trainings these panels you know, some of the best stuff I've ever been to are panels. I've had the honor to be sit on a couple of different panels. And, you know, that's when you really learn a lot. When you get some experts sitting on the stage, having an open conversation with each other, answering questions that have been sourced from the crowd. This is the kind of stuff that happens at shows and expos and trade shows. So take full advantage of it. Take advantage of the training that's going to happen. And the third thing is new tools, new technology. What's new in your space or in the construction industry? This is where everything gets launched is at the shows. So by going, it gives you an opportunity to firsthand be able to see, test, understand anything that's new, new best practices, the latest, greatest tools, the latest, greatest software and technology, that stuff will be there and you can be on the forefront. The the newest Code all the when it comes to codes or safety or any of this stuff, you're beyond the cusp of what is what is coming out here in 2024. That's why it's important to go to these shows, do this stuff, continue to grow, and not just stay in your area. Go out, find a show, go to it participate in everything it has to offer, not just the bar, not just the happy hour, not just the free food, participate in the breakout sessions, participate in the education, participate in the new tours. Find out what you need. This is how you can help set your goals, set your runway for next year. The only way you ever know is if you go. <laughs> so the, I wanted to jump on here, champions, and share this with you because I, I believe some of the greatest learning, some of the greatest networking I've ever done has come from trade shows uh, or business conferences. And we're headed into the season. You're going to start seeing them everywhere. Uh, you, you're going to listen to this podcast and then you're going to start seeing more and more of them because like I said, we're right in the season where this stuff's going to start rolling hard and there's going to be a ton of shows coming up. And I, I highly suggest go to as many as you can get as specific as you can, but also go to some of the bigger ones because it can be real eye opening. I've taken some guys to, uh, events where it was an eye-opening event. They didn't realize how big something truly was or how big something could be until you start getting them around it. 
So maybe take your number two guy, maybe take your management team, take them to the show and open their eyes to the possibilities of where you're going as a company. It'll help with the buy-in. And then they get to go on the trip as well. Think about the kind of culture that you're putting in place where you're like, I want you guys to come become the best version of yourself because we're on the way to becoming the best company we possibly can be. So don't be afraid to take other people with you. Do the same thing, man. Stay out of the happy hours. Stay out of the bars. Show up early. Take notes and be a champion. That's what you're there to do anyhow. It's to be a champion and then you have the vacation that you've always wanted. So construction champions, go look in the mirror today. Take a look and say, why haven't I gone to a show or a conference? I know I've seen them. Why haven't I pulled the trigger on that? And if you have, evaluate what that show was like for you. What did you get out of it? Because in 2024, we're turning a curve. Champions are being developed everywhere right now in the construction industry. I'm watching it happen. And it's because people are getting out there, getting outside of their comfort zone, and they're making shit happen. And there's going to be a lot of that happening at the shows this year. So get out there. Go to a show. Maybe you're seeing me there. If you do, come up and say hi. I would love to meet you in person. And champions, make sure you go to our website. Check out all of our sponsors that keep this show a rocking and rolling. And until next time, be the champion you were meant to be. Introducing Buildercoms, your all-in-one construction communication software. Say goodbye to communication mishaps that cause frustration among builders, contractors, and clients. The Buildercoms platform unifies communications, making it easy for you to chat, share updates, and collaborate effectively in one place. Experience the transformation in construction project management with Buildercoms. Visit us at Buildercoms.com to learn more and start streamlining your projects today.